Hello friends and welcome back to the Queer Stoner Gamer Girl Show, my let's play show on YouTube, but you know that already because you're watching it on YouTube, on your phone, or your computer, maybe you're pooping. Are you pooping? Don't be pooping. Nobody poops. Anyway, I am here uh, playing Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Advance 4? 2? Don't remember. Anyway, from the title screen. But, point being, Game Boy Advance re-release of the 1990 NES classic, uh, Super Mario Bros. 3, that was remade for the Super Nintendo for the Super Mario All-Stars collection, and then ported to the Game Boy Advance. And let's see, we have just conquered Castle 1, so now we are going to get to level 5, World 1. This goes up on a Tuesday. I'm wondering, how's your Tuesday? How are you doing? Maybe put it below in the comments if you're working or if you're maxing and relaxing. Maybe put it in the comments and let me know what you're up to. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Philadelphia, PA. I'm wearing a crop top. It's very nice. to be able to relax with the window open, although you may hear um, my neighbor is working on bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, this is a level I had a little trouble with when I was recording last time. Oh, and that was one reason why. Okay. And I'm gonna avoid these guys because why bother? And this gets me a uh, mushroom, finally. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm re-recording these episodes. I recorded uh, a half-hour episode of Mario 3, but came to find that I was not that good at the game and about a half hour is uh, about all I could stand so <laughs> I'm seeing how far I can go here in this episode. How? It used to be the rules that if you were full P, if you know what I mean. Oh god the Hammer Brothers. Okay but I think this one's pretty easy because yeah it jumps up and, oh, did not need that. Any of these? Nope, okay. And I got a star, invincibility star. Okay, okay. All right. So, level six. And everything is made of wood. There's a lot of wood grain. And I'm gonna get rid of you. No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. So, let's see. Level 6 here. Oh, friends. Friends, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck, 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 da, 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 fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Any Mako. Fuck you. Any a game over. Do do do. And where does this send me? Send me back. Well, this, it's really good because this is the handheld version. The other version sent you back uh, a few levels. This one only sends you back. This one only sends you back uh, one level, which is really awesome, especially because I'm fucking it up royal. It's been five minutes and I'm on pretty much one level, pretty much one level. Eh. 
every single time, I think it's going the other direction. Got some careful platforming to do here. And always holding the Y button, or is that the A button or is that the B button on the NES? But on SNES and later Nintendo controllers, B and Y are the numbers I know best. Or the uh, controller I know best. I'm playing on a Nintendo, Nintendo Switch Pro controller. Pick a box. Ooh, I could really use that. Right now, I'm going to get myself big, get myself swole. Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed! Please find the magic wand so we can change him back! And Mario does a running start up to the top of the airship. This one's not bad. I did this one the other night. I gotta say, you know, even though the Joy-Con controllers are very small, I have to say I miss them. I'd like to try using... Oh, I'm... Wow, that was not paying attention. I'd like to try using uh, Joy-Con controllers more often. Wow. So we are really... We are really F-U-C-K. D. If uh, this fight with Boom Boom doesn't go perfectly. Oh, burn. Or it's a fight with Iggy, rather, not with Boom Boom. Okay, so let's see if we can get the mush this time. It shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe you can hear the sounds of my neighbors working on their yard outside. Sounds of summertime. I just talked to my friend Carta Monier on the phone. She's a really wonderful cartoonist. And she was going to draw my autobiography graphic novel, but she ended up not having the time, so... Oh my god. Vicious. Okay. Gonna get a, uh... Gonna get a raccoon suit for this bad boy. I mean, I know it's just the first... The first airship, but... I do need it, because as I tend to mention on these playthroughs, I'm not that good at video games, so I hope you're not here for the gameplay, because... Oh, vicious. Oh, uh, come the fuck on. Okay, I am not gonna end this episode until I beat Iggy here because. Otherwise, I just feel like that's a, uh, feel like that's a, that's 
it's a deal. The deal you gotta make with uh, your audience as a Let's Player is you gotta play the video game at least a little bit. You know? Okay, and down the pipe. Yes! Thank you so much, friends! Oh my god, for joining me for that triumphant victory. With one life left, I absolutely... Finally defeated Iggy Hoopa of World 1. Oh, splendid, splendid. I am back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. That was not Toad. That was the king. Greetings. If you see any ghosts, be careful. They will give chase if you turn away. I have enclosed a jewel that helps protect you. Princess Toad's jewel. Oh, of course. And we're here in the de desert level. Okay, thank you so much for joining me, friends. Uh, please join me tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern for another episode of Queer Stoner Gamer Girl. I will again be playing Super Mario Bros. 3. And then I am planning on some indie games, a mix of basically indie games and old school games old school Nintendo games that you'll be seeing here on this channel. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. Bye.